Good day children, Sai Ram. Welcome back to our science class. And today we will be continuing with our chapter number 8, Adaptations in Animals, Part 6. Uh, so what is called adaptation, you all remember? Yes, what is adaptation? Adaptation is the ability of an animal to adjust its environment. Okay. Adaptation is the ability of an animal to adjust its environment. And why this adaptation is important? It is important because to protect themselves from animals that harm them. Uh, for example, uh, suppose if your friend is chasing you, he wants to hit you. So what he will do? You will run and escape from him. You will run as fast as you can and you will escape from him. And have you seen in the uh, movies and all the police chase the thief? So what does the thief do? He runs as fast as he can and he hides and he escapes from the police, right? So same like that, here also animals are hunted and eaten by other animals so they need protection from their enemies in their surroundings so there are various ways to protect themselves from their enemies right there are where animals protect themselves in various ways now let us learn one by one how do the animals protect themselves from the enemies in lesson number eight adaptations in animals part six so today we will be learning adaptation for hunting and protection that is how do animals protect themselves from other animals um okay Can you name the animal that runs very fast? Yes, like zebra, deer, rabbit, rat. All these animals run very fast. So these animals, they protect themselves by running away from their enemies. If the lion is chasing deer, so what the deer will do? It runs very fast and he hid himself in the bush. So, examples are deers and zebras, the animals which run very fast to protect from their, to, to protect from themselves in the, from their enemies. So, there are three ways in which animals protect themselves from their uh, enemies. That is the first one is by running very fast. And the second one is some animals are too big that they scare the enemies. And the third way is merging with the surrounding. Merging with the surrounding. The first one, there are three ways that animals escape from their enemies. First one is running very fast. And the second one is there are very huge animals. They scare the other animals. And number three is they merge with the color. They merge with the surroundings. So I will explain you now. So these are the animals. The animals which you can see here now is zebra and deer which runs very fast. Okay. And they protect themselves from their enemies. And the next one is merging with surroundings to hide from the enemies. It is known as camouflage. It is known as camouflage. That is merging with surrounding to hide from the enemies is known as camouflage. For example, have you seen the tiger? Yes, they have a skin color that match with the surrounding. So if it is walking in the tall grasses, so we cannot identify that tiger is there because their skin color matches with the surrounding. So it is called camouflage. 
and there are many other animals also like the stick insect what is this insect so it is a stick insect it is a stick insect this insect looks almost like a twig it when it walks on the plants or trees it all almost looks like a twigs and birds they cannot find it they find it very difficult to spot this insects some are looking like same like leaves some are looking like some insects look like sticks so birds when they want to hunt their food they could not identify the stick insect so they merge with the surrounding thus it becomes very difficult to see this animals so this is known as camouflage and next one is the color of the chameleon what is this chameleon what is this chameleon it changes its skin color it changes its skin color if the chameleon climbs on you so it will become your skin color so if it is climbing on any green plant the its skin changes into green color or it is climbing on to some other color of the plants it changes into that color so the color of the skin of chameleon helps them to match their surroundings and is escapes from the enemies so merging with the color of their surroundings that is called camouflage for example it is chameleon stick insect okay and uh, some animals uh, skins merge with their surroundings that is like uh, tiger zebra okay and the next one is polar bear next one is polar bear the white fur the white fur it is looking its skin that fur is looking like a snow so the white fur of a polar bear matches with the surroundings of the snow matches with the surroundings of the snow so when you go to the snowy places known polar region when you go to a polar region you cannot find out where is the polar bear because it exactly matches with the snow and it makes very difficult to spot this bear and the next one is <clears throat> yes so as i said that color of the skin makes difficult for the enemies to see their prey so like zebra and the tiger the stripes of the zebra and the tiger makes them hard to see in the grassland or forest so some animals and some animals have spines some animals have spines or shells or shells now what do these animals do so they have their spines and their shells on their bodies to protect themselves to protect themselves so this animal name is porcupine this animal name is porcupine and the other animal is hedgehogs they have spines on their body if the enemies comes their spines will be it gets so big that it is if you touch that animal you will get hurt and the blood oozes out so this is hedgehog and this is tortoise so if the enemies come if the enemies come so it protect itself so it puts its head inside this shell and it protect itself from the enemies so when a hedgehog senses danger so when it senses danger means when this animal knows that some big animal is coming to hunt so when it senses danger what it does it rolls up into a ball so it will look like a ball 
so it becomes very difficult for the predators to attack it predators means the animals that comes and catches and kills the another animal so to protect from to protect themselves from their enemies what this hedgehog will do it will become like a ball it will become like a it will look like a ball and it becomes very difficult for the predators to attack it and this as i said this tortoise and the other animals yes which has a shell yes snail so tortoise and snail so how do they protect themselves so it pulls its head inside the shell and protect themselves because their shells are very hard they have a hard shells covering their bodies and some animals like rhinoceros yes some animals like rhinoceros buffaloes use their horns to fight with their enemies they have the strong horns they have the strong horns so see here they have a very sharp horn and these buffaloes have two horns which is very hard and very sharp and very strong so these animals use their horns to fight with the other animals and uh, some animals are very big very huge like elephant giraffe a uh, whale shark they scare the other animals because they are so huge so they do not have enemies so they do not have enemies they are so big that they scare the other animals if somebody sees these animals they run away very fast and the next one is and this animal is globe fish this animal is globe fish so what these fish will do they blow up itself up to twice its normal they blow up itself when we blow the balloon what will happen the balloon becomes very big so same like that this globe fish blow up itself and they become very big twice if it is so small it becomes so big so it becomes very big twice its normal size then it looks so big and scares away the enemies so example is globe fish the the animal which blow itself that is called globe fish and the other animal is flying fish have you seen a flying fish fish also fly like this they don't fly high up in the sky they just fly above the water so it is called as flying fish so if an enemy chases this flying fish it jumps out of the water and glides by spreading its large fins so if the whale is chasing this fish so whale where is the whale where can you see the whale deep under the sea so if these fishes are spotted by their enemies so what do these fish will do this flying fish it will quickly come up and it will glide on the water it will glide on the water with the help of its fins so it jumps out of the water and glides by spreading its large fins so this is called flying fish so predators mean they have weapons or adaptations that help them to hunt and kill prey predators have three main weapons like predators means that animal that catches and kills the other animals so these predators have three weapons that is teeth claws and jaws so teeth claws and jaws so the li the lion below has all these three weapons for example 
lion so they have the all these three weapons teeth claws and jaws or adaptations that are used for catching its prey so what is an adaptation for protection adaptation can protect animals from predators or from harsh weather so many birds can hide in the tall grass and weeds and insects can change their color to blend the surroundings and this makes the enemies to seek them out for food and what adaptations can prey use to avoid predation many prey animals have developed different adaptations to protect themselves like camouflage and highly developed senses warning signals and different different defensive weapons and behaviors so it is all used by the prey animals for their survival so what is an example for the prey adaptation so they have different ways like the butterfly uses false coloring like the stick insect butterfly stick insects chameleons polar bears so they all changes they all look they look like their surrounding itself so example for prey adaptation is when an organism adapts to survive and to avoid being eaten so to escape from their enemies so what do they do they use to protect themselves from predators for example butterfly uses false coloring to make it look like a toxic butterfly or to predators when it is really not so what are the two adaptations that prey organism have developed so one is camouflage and another one is warning and color, warning coloring so camouflage helps they can because they can hide and warning color helps because it wants the predators not to eat them so an animals eat plants or other animals and the teeth and the bodies of animals are adapted to the kind of food they are and the last one is there are some animals which pretends to be dead like snake and opossums they pretend to be dead when the enemies they spot them it pretends to be dead as if dead so they are escape like acting like a dead animal when they are in danger so this is the end of the lesson children the lesson will be continued and we'll be doing some activity and uh, we'll do some answer the following also which are very important for this lessons and just go to your textbook and you will understand nicely so bye bye children